In this video, you'll see how to test the Stripe payment method on your MemberPress site. See our knowledge base and video tutorial on how to connect Stripe to MemberPress if you haven't already done that. Okay, so I have a sample MemberPress site set up with the Stripe payment method added. So for my WordPress dashboard, if I go to MemberPress, Settings, and the Payments tab, you can see Stripe connected here. Now, I want to test it out to make sure everything's working before I make my site live and start accepting real payments from real customers. So here on the Stripe payment method in the MemberPress settings, the first thing I'll do is enable test mode here. And then I'll click to save the change. Test mode lets you create test purchases with test credit card information. So you can make sure everything's working without having to charge real money on real credit cards. Now the Stripe payment method lets you accept payments through a lot of different methods, but we're just going to be testing with standard credit card information with Stripe elements. Okay, so here in a new tab, I'll open the Stripe website. And then I'll click here to log in. And then I'll log in with my Stripe credentials. And then once I'm logged in, here in the Stripe dashboard, I'll toggle test mode on here. So I have test mode enabled here on Stripe and on the Stripe payment method in the MemberPress settings too. So now I'm all ready to start testing. So now that test mode's enabled, I'll open my site in a new incognito window by right-clicking on Visit Site here and clicking Open Link in Incognito Window. Opening an incognito window lets you view your site as a brand new visitor, so you're not logged in as your site's admin user. So an incognito window is like viewing your site as a brand new customer. And then I'll go to Sign Up and then head to a registration page. And then to create a test transaction, you can make up any name, email, username, and any other info that you collect here. So I'll go ahead and fill this out with some fake test info that I make up. So for the email, you can make up any fake email, like johndoe at test.com. Or if you're using an email service that supports this, like Gmail, you can use your email with a plus sign and then any number. That way, you'll receive emails sent to this test user to your email address. But by adding the plus and a number, it acts as a brand new email. So here, this is my email, plus, and then a number. And then here in a new tab, I'll open the testing page of the Stripe support documentation. And then if you scroll down, here you'll see a list of test credit card numbers that you can use. So I'll copy this one. And then going back to my registration page, I'll paste it here. And then you could use any security code, any expiration date in the future, and any zip code. And then once everything's filled out, I'll click here to sign up. It'll take a moment to process. And then I'm redirected to my thank you page as the test user. So the transaction worked. And then I can come up here to account. And then I see the member account page as my test user. And then here under subscriptions, I can see the active subscription. And then here under payments, here's the payment with the payment ID. So it looks like the transaction went through. Now, going back to WordPress as my site admin user, if I go to MemberPress and Transactions, I can see the completed test transaction here. You can see Stripe as the gateway, the transaction ID, and the status set to complete. So it worked. Just to make sure everything's working on Stripe's end too, I'll go back to my Stripe dashboard on the Stripe website, and then I'll click Payments. And here I can see my test payment. And if you click on it, you can see more detailed information. You can copy the payment ID and see a whole lot more about it. And you'll notice here in Stripe that you'll see options to give a refund, send a receipt, and cancel, but we recommend doing those things in MemberPress instead. And our knowledge base gives some guides on how to give refunds, cancel subscriptions, and more. So once you've completed a test transaction and checked the transaction on the back end of both MemberPress and Stripe, that's pretty much it for testing the basics of the Stripe payment method. Now at this point, you could do a few other test signups to make extra sure everything's working, especially if you have more than one type of product for sale, like both a recurring membership and a one-time payment type of membership. 
So you would just test both of those to make sure each type of membership is working. And then also, before you take your site live, it's always a good idea to test Stripe with a real payment using a real credit card too. So to do that, go back to your Stripe dashboard and disable test mode here. And then go back to member press and the payments tab of the settings and disable test mode under Stripe. And then click here to save the change. So now you're ready for live payments and ready to test with real credit card information if you want to. Also, with Stripe and MemberPress, you can accept a lot of different payment methods. A full list can be found in our support documentation. To test many of them, you'd want to do some real transactions with test mode off too. And if you run into any problems using Stripe, like payments not going through, subscription or transaction IDs not looking right, users not receiving new signup emails, or other things that might go wrong with using Stripe, be sure to check out our knowledge base page on configuring and troubleshooting Stripe for help. Also, be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on all things MemberPress. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.